Hey guys, Scott here. And I want to bring something new to the channel. So I thought up of a segment to ask other fellow YouTubers uh, some questions on where they camp and what things that they use and what what places they like to camp at, things of that nature. So for today's segment, the first one, I want to bring a guy that most of you know, most of you subscribe to. I know he was one of the first guys I subscribed to and, and saw videos of when I first started doing this YouTube. And that's uh, Campfire Talk. Um, great guy. Love the stuff he does there. We can't get enough of his videos. So without further ado, here's Campfire Talk. Camp. Camp, you there? Camp. Hello, you there, buddy? Hello? Camp. Oh, now you want to do this, right? As the fish start biting. Camp, you may want to check your line. I think you got something there. What in the world? Out of all my backpacking trips, which one was the most memorable? That's a tough question. There's some trips that I went on as a boy with my family growing up that I'll never forget and uh, kind of helped shape me and gave me the appreciation for the outdoors. But I guess I have to say my most memorable trip is when I went on a couple of years ago to Gregory Bald around mid-June, mid to late June. And uh, Gregory Bald is in the Smoky Mountains. It's a 5,000 foot bald. Um, grassy up there on the top camped out at Sheep Pen Gap and uh, took a nap there on Gregory Bald and had one of the best naps uh, the wind was blowing he had great visibility up there weren't any bugs the grass was real soft he just slept like a baby and I woke up and there was a doe about five to ten feet away and uh, just couldn't believe it what a nice way to wake up at, in the outdoors and uh, I think I took a couple of pictures. I might put one up here to show y'all, but you know, what a great time. There was a lot of things that happened on that trip that were great. Um, ran into a, uh, a wildlife officer out there that was uh, kind of helping control the wild boar population at night. He had night vision, optics, and he, was he took out quite a few. But it was just kind of neat talking to him. We looked at the stars, you could really see uh, constellations great out there but sleeping on the bald was pretty special so I'm gonna say Gregory Bald mid-June Smoky Mountains it's a good trip check it out which piece of gear do I never leave home without well I'm gonna say a hat and I don't know if you can tell right now but it's raining and uh, <laughs> that's uh, whether it's a, a baseball hat like this or a sock cap when it's colder or, you know, sleeping at night really helps regulate your heat. I'm just going to say some headwear of some sort is, whether it's a day hike or, you know, a big long trip, I'm always going to have something on my head. Which is my favorite flashlight? I don't know if this is so much my favorite flashlight. It's kind of my favorite because I use it all the time, and it's going to be my my little Streamlight Nano Light. And, uh, I use it many times a day so it's probably that's why it's my favorite you know I have a few other flashlights I don't have a ton but uh, out of all of them I use this day in and day out so probably gonna say that nano light is my favorite flashlight place that I haven't visited and why well, I'm gonna say that's an easy call there for the National uh, Redwood National and State Park out in Northern California uh, there's just so many reasons. I'm kind of a sucker for those big trees. Uh, I believe they filmed the speeder bike scene in Return of the Jedi there. And uh, well, it's kind of a nerdy reason, but I don't know. There's something special about that place. I, I want to be there. It feels like it's a, a, a different planet with those large ferns and huge trees. And it's just something I want to see. I'd love to camp out there and, uh, and just be in it. 
What benefits have I received from YouTube? Well, I'm going to say it's a great resource to learn, uh, to check out gear reviews, obviously. I think that's what brought me there in the first place. Um, also, kind of just think outside the box. Some guys will come up with something that I've never thought of before, and it's just like the light bulb goes off. Well, I'll probably say ultimately it's the uh, it's kind of the sense of community now. There's a met a good group of folks on here, and it's kind of you know here in this video just with Scout NOA, it's been a great opportunity for me to kind of talk with him behind the scenes and uh, and uh, many other guys like that, and it, it's just been wonderful. I've made some good friends um, that way, and it was unexpected. But there's just so many reasons. Uh, the I like to share my little bit of knowledge that I've got. I always uh, kind of joke and say sharing my two cents worth and, and that's really all it is and you can take it or leave it and I appreciate the other guys that share their two cents worth and that take the time to make and post videos and you know it takes some time and it's a little bit of effort but it's it's kind of all worthwhile. Well that's about it. I just want to take this opportunity to thank Scout for uh, I guess wanting to interview me and uh, who knows I didn't think anyone would be interested in this, but if you watch the video, I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, this is just a little bit more, to, I guess, to uh, get to know get to know the guy behind the camera sometimes. Uh, sometimes I try to focus on the gear review or the video at hand, but this is a little bit of insight, I guess, about me. So I don't really share a ton of that, but, you know, if you guys follow the channel or are interested I appreciate you watching and uh, go over and check out Scout's channel too I guess you're already there since this will be posted on his channel but anyways thanks for watching and here you go Scout back to you alright guys I hope you enjoyed that this new segment that I got on my channel it's a Q&A with a fellow YouTuber and um, I want to give great thanks to Campfire Talk thanks man for doing this with me and I'm very proud and happy to have you on the first um, showing of this uh, hopefully later I can get you on again with some with some more more questions and um, I'm also gonna hit up a lot of you guys on YouTube hopefully I can get a couple of you guys on there too ask some questions and um, get some cool answers and just going through this whole process was really neat it was a lot of fun so I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, definitely going to do many more of these. So this is Scout and uh, I'll see you guys in the next outdoor adventure.